So, so just to directly answer your question about uh, how we deal with those kinds of a proxy, uh, those kinds of proxy situations, we actually published a paper on Tuesday about the case of ClickBot A, where you actually had a fraudster who's attempting to leverage a, a network of 100,000 machines in order to be able to generate click fraud. Now, whether you're using a botnet or if you're using a large shared proxy, your goal is the same from the point of view of being a fraudster, that you're trying to use multiple IP addresses in order to be able to initiate your attack. So you're trying to take that signal of IP address out of the equation so that we can't analyze and do any kind of statistical uh, uh, detection based on patterns of IP activity. But IP address is actually only one of hundreds of different factors that we look at. So as you can imagine, if you, you have numerous situations, legitimate situations, where you don't have the ability to do IP-based analysis. So when you have situations like AOL, when, and they have large proxies, that's not someone that's necessarily trying to commit click fraud. That just happens to be a number of users that are sharing the same IP address. Right. So if we weren't able to deal with those kinds of cases, then you know, we'd be in, in very bad shape. The, the way that we deal with them is by relying on the other signals that we utilize when IP isn't viable.